Before introducing the various facilities that are available within the Human Factors Risk Manager software, I'd just like to describe some of the basic editing functions that we use when we're documenting the, the activities of the uh, operators we're interviewing in the form of a task analysis. This is, by the way, it's called hierarchical task analysis. And you can see in the opening screen, we have at the top of the screen a box which says insert overall task goal. So if the overall task goal is, for example, perform maintenance, so I enter that edit mode by double clicking on the box with the mouse. Then we describe what the basic subtasks are required in order to perform maintenance. So we would be, for example, uh, prepare for maintenance. Then we might have uh, carry out the task. And then there is various things that we have to do to finish the task. By the way, the, the conditions here will be things that we're not going to analyze in detail. So they will be things like staff are trained in the task. So basically we're saying that this is a necessary precondition in order to begin this task. So you can see, if we've done these various subtasks, uh, they can be combined together to achieve the overall objective of the task or the goal of the task. We always build in a plan, and the plan describes how these activities are actually carried out in order to achieve the overall goal. And if we want to, to edit this uh, analysis or to extend it, as we would normally want to do, if I want to add an extra box, I click on the box uh, tool and the toolbar there, with the left mouse button, and then I hold it over the, the box that I want to add the extra box to, and you can see it just creates another box. If I want to get rid of a box, I can just delete the box like so. Now, typically, w once we've analyzed the task at this level of detail, the so-called top level, we want to analyze each of these subtasks in more detail. To do that, we click on this tool here, which is add a unit, put that tool over the box, left click, and we can see that it creates another level of analysis here. This could be inform the shift uh, and all the other activities that are, to, that are to do with preparing the maintenance task. So when you've done this, this, and this, you've achieved this. When you've done this, this, and this, you've achieved this. So you can see how the editing process works. And as we develop the task with the, with the end users in a graphical format like this, it automatically documents the whole process in a table down here. So the same information that we've entered graphically is reproduced here. And this whole table and the graphic version can be exported or printed out to record the, the detail of what actually happened in the analysis.